Sir Topham Hatt's engines are very hard-working and really useful. They were always kept busy with passengers and freight. Sometimes the workload is too much for most of the engines, which is why Sir Topham Hatt brings new engines to help out. Knapford Station was the busiest station on Sodor, with goods and passengers coming in and out every day. One day, Edward arrived to pick up his daily passengers at Knapford, when he saw a pink lavender engine waiting there. She had bright red wheels and three stumpy domes. Well, hello there. I'm Edward. Who are you? Hello. I'm Rosie. I'm the new shunting engine. New shunting engine? Indeed she is. Rosie will help out shunting coaches and trucks in the yard. Edward, I need you to show her what to do. Of course, sir. But what about my passengers? I'll arrange for another engine to take your passengers. I need you to help Rosie here at Knapford. She needs to learn, and I think you would be the best engine to learn from. Leave it to me, sir. Very good, Edward. Come on, Rosie. Soon, Edward and Rosie were hard at work. Rosie was a fast learner, and she soon became friends with the engines. They were all very impressed. For a wee engine, that Rosie's very efficient. Aye, she's certainly a hard-working engine. She's very polite too. Rosie has such a positive attitude. I couldn't have put it better myself. She certainly brightens up the station. Later, Rosie and Edward were taking a rest when a familiar little engine passed by. Edward? Who is that? Oh, that's Thomas. He's our number one. Wow! So that's THE Thomas. I've heard a lot about him. He seems like such a nice and brave engine. Yes, the most loyal member in our engine fleet. Even if he can be cheeky and fussy. Oh, I'd love to be friends with him. But I'm not sure if he'd want to talk to an engine like me. I'm sure he'd love to, Rosie, but right now, we still have more work to do. Come on! Later, Rosie rolled into the station, where she found Thomas collecting some passengers. Oh, hi there! You're Thomas, aren't you? Yes, I am. And who might you be? My name's Rosie. I'm the new engine on Sogo. Oh, yeah, I've heard of you. You're doing a great job from what I hear. Oh, well, thank you, Thomas. <laughs> I did hear a lot about you on my own railway. You're a really useful engine. Thanks, Rosie. There's a reason why I'm number one. Oh, sorry. Can't stay and chat. I've got more work to do. Nice meeting you, though, Rosie. Goodbye. Oh, um, okay. Uh, bye, Thomas. Hi, Rosie. Hey, what's wrong? You look upset. Huh? Oh, hello, Emily. <sighs> I don't know if I can ever live up to Thomas's legacy. Everyone says he's a brave and useful engine. I'll never be like that. Cheer up, Rosie. Being a really useful engine is easy. Is it? Yep. Just try your best and don't give up. That's what Thomas always does. So... I can be just like Thomas? That's right, Rosie. With a little practice, you'll be a really useful engine in no time. Wow! Thanks, Emily! I know just what to do now. I can be just like Thomas. I can! The next day, she was shunting in the yard when she soon saw Thomas puffing into Knapford. There he is! What? Hello, Thomas. I thought I would shunt your coaches for you, the way you always shunt them. Um, thanks, Rosie, but I'm not Gordon. I'm not lazy like he is sometimes. <clears throat> Tender engines don't shunt. I am a big blue bumpus pig. <laughs> it's no problem at all. I'm always happy to help. <laughs> if you say so. Thanks again. Bye, Thomas. Yes, it's perfect. I'll do it later. 
later. Later that day, Rosie raced around the yard, shunting trucks and coaches into sidings and to the engines. She was exhausted. Phew! This is tiring my wheels out. Wow, she really overworks herself. The coaches don't complain as much since she handles them so nicely. She must have magic buffers, because I've never heard the trucks come so quietly. She's pretty useful. Huh? Oh, maybe that's it. I could show Thomas how good I am with trucks. That will surely impress him. After all, he used to shunt trucks at the big station when he first arrived. <laughs> The express isn't due for another hour. Who shunted my coaches? And my goods trucks were already at the docks for me before I even left the sheds. And Annie and Clarabelle are ready too. Who did all this? Hold on by yours truly, fellas. I got up really early and shunted all your trains for you. Uh, Rosie, have you ever gotten any sleep? <sighs> Who keeps track of that? I have to be as useful as I can be. Just like Thomas here. Like me? Rosie, maybe at least save some of the workloads for us. We do appreciate you doing this in all honesty, but it's a bit much for one engine like yourself. Too much to handle if you ask me. It's not too much for me. I can handle everything. Trust me. Um, if you say so, but just remember, there are lots of engines that can help you if it's too much. Oh, it's fine, everyone. I can still handle it. Nothing to worry about. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to shunt a train. I think she's overworked herself to a point of no sleep. She seems stressed about something. I'd say she's in over her wheels doing almost all the work in the yard. Really saved everybody else from doing much too. Even so, she's taking it a bit far. She'll surely knock herself to bits if she's not careful. I think I'd better go make sure she's okay. Hold on, I thought that was Edward's train. Did she even ask him to take it? Um, Rosie, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing, silly? I'm going to pull the train for the first time, just like you did. But Rosie, they're not called Trolls and Trucks for no reason. They could bump an engine right off the rails if you're not careful. It's alright. I'm only pulling it to Brenda. Edward said it was fine. I'm going to pull it just like you. But Rosie, you know nothing about Trolls and Trucks. Come back! Stop! Bother. <sighs> alright, let her learn for herself. I can pull these trucks easily. I don't see what the big deal is. We'll do it on the hill! <laughs> oh yes! Let's do it! <laughs> Soon, Gordon's Hill came into view. The trucks decided to play their tricks. Oh, At last, she reached the top of the hill, but a chance for trouble had come. What did I say? What did I say? You have to be careful when pulling trucks, Rosie, or things like this could happen, you silly engine. Oh, I'm sorry, Thomas. Hold on. I'll go get help. Oh, what was I thinking? I shouldn't have done something so silly to impress Thomas. Probably won't like me now. I'll never be really useful like him. Soon, Thomas returned with Emily and the breakdown train to help clear the mess. Then he pulled Rosie back home. I'm so sorry for acting so silly, Thomas. I was trying to be like you. I thought 
He'd be my friend if I did. Wait, is that why you were copying me? Yeah. I just wanted to be a really useful engine, just like you. But Rosie, you don't have to copy everything I do. I'd love to be friends with you. You just gotta be yourself. And being yourself is what makes you a useful engine. You really think so? Of course. So, does this mean we're friends? We certainly are, Rosie. We certainly are. The story of the accident soon reached Sir Topham Hatt, and needless to say, he clearly wasn't impressed. Although I'm pleased with your hard work these last few days, the same won't be said for that careless stunt you pulled today. Because thanks to your accident, the urgent cargo was delayed by two hours. Really useful engines are expected on this railway. Rebellious ones obviously don't count. I know, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Yes. Well, you can think about how sorry you really are after a few days in the shed. That'll teach you to use common sense more wisely in future, I should think. Yes, sir. Hey, don't feel bad, Rosie. Slip-ups can happen to any engine on the first go. I should know that from experience. My first day wasn't so great either. I made a few mistakes here and there, and I even almost came off the line because of those trucks. Really? Yes, really. So don't be so hard on yourself, Rosie. Things may not always turn out well, but everything will be fine in the end. Do you think so, Thomas? I'd be lying if I said no. Welcome to the railway, Rosie. We're all glad to have you as a part of the team. However, there is one thing I want to recommend. What's that? Don't try to be a copycat again next time. I think it's best to be your true self. Long after Sir Topham Hatt finally gained her trust again, Rosie began to work at the yards again. And keeping her promise, she did it her own way, without copying anyone else's wants. And she felt very proud to be a part of Sir Topham Hatt's Railway. There are two, there are four, there are six, there are eight, shunting trucks and hauling freight. Red and green, black, brown and blue, they're the really useful crew. All with different roles to play, round tin the sheds or far away. Down the hills and round the bend, Thomas and his friends. Thomas, he's the cheeky one. James, James and James are lots of fun. Percy, holds the mail on time. Gordon, punches down the line. Henry, really knows his stuff. Donald, sees while Douglas pops. Edward, helps while Douglas shares. Shunting trucks and hauling freight Red and green, black, brown and blue They're the really useful crew All with different walls to play Round tidlet sheds or far away Down the hills and round the fence Thomas and his 